the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 304, Luke 19 to 20. Trade using minors. Jesus, who looked for not the healthy but the sick, was the one who gave strength to the weak and saved those who were lost. First point. Zacchaeus, who was a tax collector in Jericho, heard about Jesus and wished to meet him. Zacchaeus, who was a tax collector in Jericho, believed that money was best. The most important thing to him was money, and so he worked for the Roman Empire to collect tax from his own people. However, there was a part of him that always felt that something was missing. Around this time, Zacchaeus heard the news of Jesus. He also heard that among his twelve disciples, there was a former tax collector. Zacchaeus, of all people, knew exactly how tax collectors were regarded by the Jews and thus would have been shocked that a tax collector could be chosen as Jesus' disciple. When he heard that Jesus was crossing by Jericho, he wanted to see him, but he was a short man and so climbed a tree to see him. Jesus saw him and told him to come down and then said that he would go into Zacchaeus' house. Throughout the four Gospels, Zacchaeus' house was the only place Jesus said that he would sleep over. This was because Jesus knew very well that Zacchaeus sincerely wished to meet Jesus. Luke recorded the joy of Zacchaeus. However, when the people heard this, they rebuked Jesus for mingling with the sinners. Zacchaeus confessed his sin to Jesus and repented. He told Jesus that he would give half of his possession to the poor, and that if he mistreated or fooled anyone, he would pay them back quadruple the amount. When someone stole something, Moses' law stated, they must make a full restitution for the wrong they have done, add a fifth of the value to it, and give it all to the person they have wronged. Zacchaeus gave himself a heavier price for his sins based on this law. Whoever steals an ox or a sheep and slaughters it or sells it must pay back five head of cattle for the ox and four sheep for the sheep. Second point, Jesus used the parable of the minors in order to teach about the kingdom of God. Jesus used the parable of the minors to teach his disciples about the kingdom of God. Luke records how the master called ten of his servants and gave them one minor each. The ten servants were to work hard with this money during the time their master was away. The master came back after his trip and then examined the results. Jesus used this parable in order to teach his disciples how they were to act after Jesus' cross and resurrection. Some would use the minors to fulfill Jesus' will to the best of their abilities. Some would dislike Jesus ascending as the king. Third point. Luke recorded that when Jesus was born, and when he entered Jerusalem, there was peace in heaven and glory on earth. Luke went on to record the final week of Jesus. All the instances of this week occurred within Jerusalem. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, everyone cheered him and praised him. The people praised Jesus and called him the son of David, and referred to a passage in Psalms. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. Luke recorded that when Jesus entered Jerusalem, there was peace in heaven and glory on earth. This was the message 
that Jesus brought peace to the world and the angels glorified him. When the people praised and cheered Jesus, some Pharisees told Jesus to rebuke his disciples. When Jesus heard their hypocritical advice, he referred to the passage in Habakkuk. Luke recorded that Jesus cried as he entered Jerusalem because of what was to happen soon. Jesus then cleansed the temple from robbers. First point, Luke recorded the full debates Jesus had with the religious leaders. Luke chapter 20 recorded Jesus' debate with the members of the Sanhedrin assembly. The first was the debate about authority. The second was about tax. The third was about resurrection. The fourth was about Messiah and the son of David. Fifth point, after debating with the religious leaders, Jesus revealed their hypocrisy and warned them. Jesus warned the people against the hypocrisy of the members of the Sanhedrin assembly, who were the most prestigious religious leaders at the time. In Luke chapter 20, Luke recorded again how Jesus warned the people against the hypocritical members of the Sanhedrin assembly. The hypocritical behavior of the Sanhedrin assembly was the following. First, they wished to be respected and wanted to be treated by the people. Second, they looked down on the weak. Third, they prayed to God and fasted in order to show others. Thus, Jesus declared that they would be punished severely for their hypocrisy. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer and you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.